Tommy, obviously not the result we wanted today and, and quite a humbling defeat really, wasn't it? In a nutshell, yeah. Um, I don't use the words embarrassed very often because I don't very often represent teams that I'm embarrassed by. But for periods of that game I was. Not, not in the whole game, in terms of I didn't see us stop and try to, to improve the situation we put ourselves in, but it was just unacceptable the way individuals played, therefore collectively, you know, we, we've given them however many goals. I know we've done, we haven't been, you know, um, watertight in terms of defensive all season, but we traded that off because we scored goals. But today you saw 11 lads who put their bodies and their heads and everything they had between us and their goal, and we didn't do that well enough. Simple as that. People might have a go with Jordy because he's, you know, the six goals he's picked out the back of his net, but he's got he's so exposed. It's you know, it's just not right. And um, I'll be doing things about that now. The four goals came in 25 minutes. Do you think maybe the players were just a bit shell shocked after that? It was it was pretty much their four shots, four goals, wasn't it? Well, it's, if anybody who's here will realise that we've had the ball all the game, but every time we've get, we've passed the ball or they've won it back. They've just walked through the middle of our pitch like a knife through butter, really, and exposed the goalkeeper. And, you know, at the end of the day, we had one chance early on in the game where had that went in, things may well be different. But I take nothing away from Bishop Storford. 100% thoroughly deserved to win the game. And that's nothing to do with football. That's just to do with application, attitude um, and determination, which it hurts me, hurts me to say that there was 11 lads out there in blue looked like they more, wanted it a little bit more than my 11 lads in blue and white and that, that sticks in my craw. You mentioned it there a little bit, we've obviously had our, a few weaknesses exposed there haven't we but we've got a good opportunity now to, to learn from that and, and well we've got a week to, to correct it ahead of getting back into league action. We have to learn quick because if we play like that or we defend like that out of possession in our division we will 6-1 will be a, a great result for us because that's, it's just you know it's unacceptable what we've what we've seen there today and I'm listen I'm never one to criticize individuals in public I'll, I'll praise them if they've done well and I genuinely think of the two of the, the team that started and the subs that came on the pitch there's only two who started and one of the subs did what I would have expected them to do and and that is just not normal for us we didn't prepare any differently um, we didn't give them any less information about the opposition than we do. Um, and again, coming off the back of where we were last Sunday, the, we, we warned them about that early in the, in the week, but I didn't think that that was an issue. But maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But look, I'm really, really disappointed. Um, I'm not one to apologise because I, I think we, you have to go with the rough with the smooth. You know, we're, we're in it together, we win together, we lose together as a football club, as a group of staff and players and as, and as a fan base. And i got to say, the fans were excellent. You know, they could have easily given us a lot more grief than what um, one or two did. And I, and I accept that. Listen, I'll take, I'll take the pats on the back, so I'll take the kicks up the backside and uh, I don't want many more then.